live <coughs> excuse me, from our virtual studios here just north of Atlanta, Georgia. And we're doing one of our uh, Sunday night webinars. I haven't done one in a while. These are called 31 and done. We will be done 31 minutes from now, no matter what. Let's try to get everything in or not. We stop at 31 minutes. We usually get in well under the wire. So our topic is six social media hacks in 30 minutes or less. What I'm going to walk you through <coughs> excuse me, are the big six, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, and give you one good tip for each. Now, the cool thing is some of these you'll be able to implement even in this 31 and done webinar. Most of them you can get done before your head hits a pillow tonight and all of them by tomorrow. These are small little hinges that swing doors, big doors, and they're really just a sample of what's available in the uh, social content secrets course that we'll talk about here at the end. So we need to get moving. All right. So now this show has two sponsors. We're going to dispense with a lot of the, you know, why should you listen to me and all that kind of stuff because it's 31 and done. Now the first sponsor is social content secrets. Many of you are already signed up for the course. It starts <clears throat> in about 10 days and good on you guys. The rest of you flat out need to. Now Nickel and I are teaming up to show you how to continually profit with your content on the big six social media sites. And each unique site has a unique way for you to post your content to get the most prospects and profits. That means there'll be an offer at the end of the show only if I deliver on all the promises that I've uh, made to you. And our second sponsor is always a charity sponsor. Be Rich, um, a local organization, do more, give more. That does not mean get rich. That means realize that we already are and let's do it well. Okay. Um, this organization is responsible for helping out scores of um, other organizations that help folks that wouldn't eat otherwise, wouldn't be closed otherwise. And as a matter of fact, um, we just sent 50 grand um, in medical supplies to Nepal. 100% uh, of everything that that goes to that organization goes to help people <coughs> and a percentage of everything I do on a webinar um, goes to that as well so when you invest in yourself later you're not only investing in yourself you're investing in helping people <coughs> and I'm sorry about the cough guys I'll do my best to cover my mouth before or cover the mic before I cough alright let's move on a little bit of webinar wisdom to get us going here and in the right frame of mind everyone and I really want you in this frame of mind as we go forward here because get this and you'll get excited and you'll roll with this, okay? Everyone starts with zero followers. So the playing field is pretty level. If you leverage the power of social media sites to build the following and drive them back to your site, that's the wise way to go about it. My buddy Joel Com. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go forward. Now, <coughs> we're gonna start with Facebook. Six Profitable social media hacks. This is Facebook. This is what I call a regular feature video. Now, um, some of you may already know this. Many of you don't. Um, Facebook and YouTube are sort of in competition now about video. Facebook wants to give YouTube a run for video, which is only good for us because who wins is us as they both get better and better. But one of the things Facebook is doing, if you put up a YouTube video, on Facebook, they will not send it out to as many people as if you uploaded that video, your video file, directly to Facebook. In other words, you upload a YouTube video, people in your community will see it, but Facebook will hold it back some because it's not a Facebook video. So what you've got to do now, upload one to YouTube, and upload another, <coughs> the video file, to Facebook. Okay. Now, you can do that all day, every day, any day. One of the things I recommend is doing it with a regular feature video. And that can be over anything, any day of the week. On, on Facebook, people expect me to do a template Tuesday when I offer them a template, right? <coughs> um, you can do a video about anything. Here's Phaedra. Um, doing one. She does a shout out Saturday. Just kind of a shout out to a, a colleague, a student, somebody she wants to, to show respect to. Um, don't do this now, but after the webinar, go over to my um, 
Facebook and check this one out because it's 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 really kind of crazy good. Um, this shout out she's given me for my birthday, and she says some really sweet things, and um, she actually made me blush. So um, go give it a listen. But that's tip number one. Okay, a regular feature video on Facebook. What's the benefit of having a regular feature video? Your community starts to build around it and expects it. They anticipate it. People look forward to Phaedra's Saturday shoutouts. Okay? People will look forward to your um, regular feature video <coughs> Excuse me. as you offer them something on a regular basis. It can be a day of the week and a particular topic. Um, and what will happen is people will begin to expect that. If you don't do it, they'll be saying, hey, where is that video? And w one of the things Phaedra didn't do here, because she's just doing a shout out kind of thing, one of the things you can do whenever you do your video is either on the video or right here in um, Facebook, provide what? Quick quiz here. What do you think I'm going to suggest you provide? A little quick pop quiz in the Q&A. What, what should you sh provide? Either on the video or in the text of Facebook? Come on, guys. Close, Lee, an offer. Close, Kelda, an offer, an offer, an offer. Link to site. Boom, Susan. Yeah, there you go. A link, a call to action, Gracie. Yeah, a link for them to go somewhere. Remember, you want to take people off of social media onto your email list. Why? You don't own your social media sites. The social media sites do. You want them in your in-house email list. Okay? So tip number one is a regular feature video on Facebook. Tip number two of our six profitable social media hacks in 30 minutes or less has to do with YouTube. <coughs> you want, I call it, stay on your stuff. If you don't set it to do this, your YouTube video, when it's over, will automatically go play another video related to yours. But it's someone else's. You want people to, to stay on your stuff. This one I learned from my buddy Lou Bertone. What you do, <coughs> and you should do this with every video, okay? You go into your video, and you got to do three clicks to get there, okay? The first click is to share. Whenever you show your, have your videos and you're in your site, you can click share, right? And that will open up. You can get the, um, the URL there. You click embed. It gives you the embed code. And then you click show more, and you see this right down here. And see where the arrow is pointing? It says um, show suggested videos when the video finishes. You don't want it to do that because then you're sending them to somebody else's video site. So you uncheck that bar, that box. Uncheck that box. I always leave show player controls there <coughs> so people can see stuff again. Um, but what you do, you come in to... Um, click on share, then click on embed, and then unclick share suggested videos when the video finishes. That way it doesn't go to someone else's video. People can watch yours again, and if you're smart, you do like an end card, and we'll talk about that on another show. Um, um, but let me give you a little bonus tip for YouTube, okay? Something you'll have, this, this will be fun research for you later, okay? Go to Jimmy Fallon. The Tonight Show, Jimmy Fallon's YouTube site, and I could I could create a whole e a whole um, YouTube course just by saying go to Jimmy Fallon's site, do what he does, because they have mastered YouTube. Okay, so <coughs> one for Facebook, one for YouTube. You guys ready for one for Twitter? Give me a yay or nay in the Q and A if you want one for Twitter. Oh, hell yes, says Mark. You guys want a Twitter tip. Okay. Listen, let me talk a little bit about Twitter. Um, it's easy to forget about Twitter, um, but it's becoming more and more powerful. And you need to put it in your mix. Okay? So here's the tip. This didn't used to be true. And no, it's not that you can now put 143 or 42 characters in there instead of 140. Okay, fine. That's good. But that's not what we're about. Okay? Folks, when we talk later on about Instagram and Pinterest, the reason we're doing that is, folks, welcome to the age of graphics. 
okay? Because we're a visual world, because we grew up on screens, and now more and more people just have their head in screens all the time, the Internet is moving rapidly <coughs> to two things, graphics and videos, graphics and videos, okay? So whenever you get a chance to do a graphic or a picture, you need to. So here's your Twitter tip. With that tip, always a graphic or a pic. Yes, this is in Twitter. It used to be all you'd be able to put is Sunday night webinar, the link, and the title, Six Profitable Social Media Hacks in 30 Minutes or Less. Where in the world have you heard that before, right? But now, down at the bottom, you get to click Add a Picture or Add a Photo. And boom, look what I added. So this advertised, this promoted what we're on right now. And some of you are on here because you already told me because you saw it on Twitter, okay? So the Twitter tip is always a graphic or a pic. For many of you, myself included, I was doing this too. Uh, a lot of my Twitter is automated, or I have one of my team do it, okay? So I've, I've gone in there a little bit recently myself um, to play with the pics, and now I'm having my team do it as well. You can put a graphic in there, and th listen, this is why you need to do it, okay? Um, if we had time on a longer webinar, I'd show you that... I mean, if there's any social media site that you scroll through quickly and changes quickly, it's Twitter, right? And so now, with this going on, <clears throat> if you don't have a graphic, if you don't have a graphic, you're going to get passed over. If it's just text, you'll get pa you'll get passed over. A man is asking about: Is there a way to reduce the amount of writing? Oh, for each tweet to reduce the URL. Um, yeah, you can use things like, um, well, if you, if you use Hootsuite, they automatically reduce a tiny URL. Does it? Either one of those will make it smaller. Um, so you can use those uh, extra ones. Now, a little bonus tip. I didn't use all the 143 or however many characters you get now. I think there were about 30-something left over. Anybody know why I did that on purpose, why I left 30 over? Why I left 30 out? <clears throat> That's right, Jones, so people can retweet. Good guess, man, about for the picture. No, um, so people can retweet it, because it takes a little bit of room to say RT, and you want to leave room for people to, R to retweet. RT stands for retweet. So even though you can use that full 142 or 143 graphics, um, you need to leave some room so people can retweet. Right? Yeah, the image, ML is saying the image has lasting impact. And all that is, folks, you've heard me say this, and, you know, you'd think I got something from this, but I don't. Um, but, yes, I'm a word swag addict. My name is Jeff. I'm a word swag addict. Um, I just made this in word swag. Just brought up a social media picture. Type that in. This is not hard, kids. All right, so we've done Facebook, we've done YouTube, and we've done Twitter. All the ones we've done. You can do some of them even while we're doing this webinar, you fast action takers. All of the ones we've done you can do before your head hits the pillow tonight. Okay? And we're only halfway through. <clears throat> Working pretty well on that 31 and done. All right. So Facebook, YouTube, and we're doing this in the order of the ranking of amount of traffic they get. So Facebook is first. YouTube is second. Twitter, amazingly, is third. Here comes LinkedIn, number four. I call it summary magic. Now, <clears throat> I did a strange thing Friday and Saturday. Friday was my birthday. Thank you. And by the way, hey, let me take this moment in public to thank all the folks that reached out with videos and all kinds of cool stuff to say happy birthday. Um, I went to church today, and a lot of people were saying, hey, happy birthday, by the way. And I'm like, how would you know? And they're like, how could we not know? We're on Facebook. Everybody on Facebook knows it's your birthday, Jeff. So thank you, guys. You made my day. Um, and what I nerdily did with that day is Friday and Saturday I spent in a traffic infusion workshop here in Atlanta for two days. And this is one of the things I've learned, so I'm bringing it directly to you. Uh, one of the things you can do in the summary in LinkedIn. Now, what they taught us was a little bit different than what I'm showing you, but I've taught many of you to, do, to talk about what you do. Do you know how? Well, what I do is, <clears throat> so I adapted what they were talking about. Um, thank you, Mel, with, um, with uh, what I've been doing. And, and simply, this is the beginning summary in LinkedIn. And there's some more stuff down here. But watch these, 
just three important sections, okay? What most people do with a summary, okay, and those of you that attend a lot of these, why, why don't we do what most people do? Quickly in the Q&A, why don't we do what most people do? Uh, Cindy, that image I made <coughs> on Twitter was made with Word Swag, W-O-R-D-S-A-W-G, $3.99 app for um, iPhones. That's right, because most people are broke. You don't want to do what most people do. Most people are broke and most people fail, so you don't want to do what most people do. Most people start talking all about themselves in the summary instead. Do you know how so many online entrepreneurs have great expertise inside them, but they struggle with how to get it out into the marketplace for more prospects and profits? Well, what I do is help you easily unleash your content so you can quickly cash in on your content. Online entrepreneurs can get started quickly with your own content creation when you visit contentcreationtemplate.com. <coughs> What's that? Well, one, it's about them. Okay? It's also asking a question, right, that pulls them in, and then you're telling in one sentence what you do, and then here's how we can start working together. Okay? Do this small thing on your LinkedIn summary. Your list will grow. You'll get more traffic, and you'll get more customers and sales. LinkedIn is full of people looking for solutions. And when you can, you can show them on a regular basis how you approach their problems and how you solve their problems, good things are going to happen. <clears throat> LinkedIn is also the only social media site whose members' average income is six figures. It's the only one. Okay, so you want to be there. So really, all you do, okay, um, you ask a question. Do you know how? And then you ask a question of a about a presenting problem in your expertise. Do you know how so many online entrepreneurs have great expertise inside them, but they struggle with how to get it out into the marketplace for more prospects and profits? So my ideal client is going to be going, well, yeah, that's me. Well, what I do is help you easily unleash your content so you can quickly cash in on your content. Online entrepreneurs can get started quickly with your own content creation when you visit, and there is a link. Great list builder, <coughs> great traffic, um, and many, 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 many people from there will show up on webinars and become customers. Okay, So that's one you guys can start playing with while we're on the show here. Um, certainly you can do it before you're headed to the pillow tonight. I mean, folks, it's three sentences. Okay, let me check in with you guys, even though we're going fast. Is it possible, just theoretically, okay, just theoretically, for you to create three sentences before your head hits a pillow tonight? Give me a yay or nay in the Q&A, please, as we go on to the age of graphics, okay? Because what comes next in the rankings is Instagram, Picture Power Part 1 of our six profitable social media hacks. What you see right now is the top of my Instagram. I used to laugh at this. My kids did this all the time, putting pictures up all the time. Okay, great, you show pictures around, cool. And then I found out how much traffic people were getting from this. Now, <clears throat> one of the things I noticed as I was putting this together, this is like a storyboard. This is talking about traffic with a link to a website uh, uh, um, a webinar. This is one of my sayings. Do before you tonight. Um, this is something I made up last week with a link to my um, my blog. You just can't beat the person who consistently creates great content. Okay. Here's what you we used for webinar wisdom earlier. Four rules for online success. A great lyric from Matthew West, and um, rules about traffic. Okay. So you, even here, one of the things you can do, and this changes, this rotates. So as you put stuff up on Instagram and people check out your site, they're getting a sample of what you do, what you stand for. And if you're smart, like we teach you to be, there's a link, there's a link, there's a link, everywhere a link, link. Um, there's a link, okay? And people come back to your world this way. So. Here's one of them made larger. Um, advertising the new course, Social Content Secrets. Can you profit from your content here? Again, made with word swag. 
if I type this in, Word Swag <coughs> hooks up with Pixabay, and so all these images are royalty free. You are totally safe to use these images. And something I want to draw your attention to as part of our tip. Image, great, grabs your attention. Okay? And look, seven words. If you can get it in <coughs> in seven words or less on your graphic, awesome. Okay? It gets their attention. But look what I've got over here. Well, there's one link there to the course. Okay? Discover the seven word solution and more. Watch the video, socialcontentsecrets.com. Okay? Um, and then people start liking it. There's my youngest son. The first people to like it, also Mary Pat Cavanaugh from out west, one of my um, friends and colleagues. Okay? So, two parts here. That is a changing billboard that shows folks what you're about and provides lots of links, too. And here is how one is specific, and you put a link here as well. All right? So, <coughs> sorry about the cough, guys. I must have got some pollen when I was out coaching football. Um, so picture power number two, Pinterest. Okay, It's not just for recipes and pressing flowers anymore. It's for driving buyer traffic to your websites. Okay, You get to have boards in Pinterest, B-O-R, you know, B-O-A-R-D-S, B-O-A-R-D-S. Around the corner from us, there's a, uh, a farm that advertises boarding horses, and it's B-O-R-D over there. So i got to be careful because I laugh about that so much because they've never changed it. You get boards, like one board would be quotes for the day, results now webinars, adventures with sons. Okay? So these are just quotes. Um, if you ever go to St. George Island, that, that, um, that boat is right there as the bridge <coughs> from the um, Florida coast over to St. George. All I did was got out, I parked the car, got out, and took a picture. Um, you can do the same thing with lots of pictures. Uh, here's where I advertise webinars on Pinterest. A lot of you guys show up on these webinars from Pinterest. And then I just have fun over here with stuff I, I do with my sons and their friends. Okay. So again, here's sort of like your um, photo board uh, where people can get a feel for what you're about. Okay. Now, let's take one of these and look at it a little bit closer. All right. Now. Is this an attention-getting graphic? Yes or no? I mean, come on, really? All right. So, again, word swag. Can you get paid to create content that drives great traffic for free? That's a good question to ask, right? That's going to pull people in. JeffHerring.com forward slash boom, a webinar we did. The answer is yes. Join us here for the webinar that shows you how. And there is the link. Okay, using Pinterest to drive traffic to webinars. Okay, so there will be people on my Pinterest board <coughs> who are not on my list, who will join my list by coming to a webinar this way. And as people repin this pin, what language we use, um, other people that I don't know will come and join webinars and also be a part of my community. So, boom, in way less in 31 minutes. Those are six profitable social media hacks, one each for uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Instagram. Yes, there will be a replay. It will probably be up before my head hits the pillow tonight. Um, there's a joke in there somewhere, but I'm going to leave it alone. Um, and so you can listen again. I really, really invite you to do some of these while we're on the, the webinar, but not, not for a few minutes. Um, definitely before your head is to pillow tonight, definitely tomorrow, clearly by tomorrow. Okay? What happens if you did one? Well, you drive more traffic. What happens if you did two? Good for you. What, hap what would happen if you did all three? I'm sorry, what, hap what happened if you did all six? How about that? That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? And, folks, we've just skimmed the surface of the power of what's possible with this stuff. Now, I must ask you a question. Have I delivered, did I deliver on what I promised, on the six social media hacks in 31 minutes or less? Melville loves how I synthesize this. Um, 
Uh, Gracie, that email is jeffherringtraining at gmail.com. Jeffherringtraining at email. Um, Jeff Herring training at gmail.com. Gail says, great tips. Thank you. Absolutely. Great job, Jeff, says Cindy. Thank you, guys. Yes, well and truly, says Joan. Thanks. I kind of like these 31 and done. We may do more of them. Um, good job, Melva. All right. So now let me talk to you about <coughs> your next success steps. Now, even with this 31 and done, I had a choice. Show you these things and let you go figure it out yourself. Or invite you to go deeper and learn more so you can master this stuff. I went for choice too. So I like to take you from complicated to simple and expensive to affordable. So that's what we've got here in the Social Content Secrets brand new course. Okay? Now Nick and I are going to show you how to continually profit with your content, both more prospects and more profits on the big six social media sites that we just went over. Okay. Here's what it's going to look like. <coughs> First, here's the reasons to join. You've got two people leading it, six powerful modules for Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Pinterest. Let me just go over to the site and show you what you're going to get. Okay? There's the site, your members area. You're going to get a module each for Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest. You're going to get a bonus of a <coughs> social media consult with one of us. Get the social content vault, our articles and videos all about this stuff, another course within a course, our private Facebook community that we're going to build a huge community around. We're going to do a bonus webinar module about up-and-comers and also RAND's social media websites as well. Now, let me show you over here real quickly. Um, all that you're going to get, this replay will be up there. Um, let me show you. I already showed you what you're going to get. Let me show you the bonuses. Here's huge bonus number one, other than what I just shown you, showed you. You are going to get updates for life. Not every single thing. And yes, Greta, it'll work for promoting middle school fiction books. Where are middle schoolers? Oh, my goodness. They're on social media. And so are their parents. Um, you're going to get updates for life about how to do your content on these big six. Now, Niall and I are very well known for over-delivering, so we're going to give you other stuff too, but always updates as things change on how to deliver your content. And they change all the time. And if you do it the same way on every one, you're leaving money and prospects on the table. You're going to profit from your content on social media. You know exactly how to structure and post your content. You no longer got to worry about the latest strategies. We're going to keep you up, and you can consistently leverage your content. Now, let me tell you, um, Eventually, when this is done, it's going to be 997. Okay, today it's only 247. <coughs> but I'm going to give you for showing up on a Sunday night webinar a 50, an instant $50 rebate, backstage pass, prepayments of only 77, or save 34 bucks with a one-time investment of only 197. And the link is coming, folks. But before I tell you that. Okay. Backstage pass means you will be there live as we create this course, and you will get your questions answered live. And Niall and I are very serious about building a lifelong community around this course. So serious that the people that adopt early at 197, before it goes up, before we launch the course, are going to get the special bonus, one ticket to our first two-day social social content secrets live event here in Atlanta. Normally 997, you get it as part of the course at only 197. Okay, so that by itself is worth coming on board. Plus all the training you're going to get. Let me show you where to get started in the two minutes I have left. Okay, um, that's what just really quickly. Just for fun. That's what social media used to look like. LinkedIn was our Rolodex file, right? Not anymore. Got to keep up with all those. All pointing at you. Okay, so bum, 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 bum. you get $800 off on your backstage pass. You get all of this, folks. All the training, all the videos, all the live webinars, all the templates for each site. Listen to me. Templates for each site on how to post your content on each of the big six, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Pinterest at socialcontentsecrets.com. Some of you guys are already jumping on over there. Good for you. Socialcontentsecrets.com. We start with our first module 
on uh, May 14th, a week from this Thursday. Okay, so you got a couple of choices. You can come on board for three payments of only 77, and yeah, you're you're in as soon as you make your first payment. Or if you're a real smart cookie, save 34 bucks with a one-time investment of only 197. Okay, there is your link at Social Content Secrets. I promised you 31 and done, and it's 30, and we are done. So boom, done with a minute to spare. Um, I see all kinds of orders coming in. I'm not going to go through all the names because um, we're running out of time. So let me know in the Q&A if you guys like these 31s and dones, because I sure do. They're fun. Um, like hanging out with you guys on a Sunday night. So appreciate you guys coming out. A lot of things you could be doing, so I'm always honored that you're here. I invite you to go get this stuff at socialcontentsecrets.com and go use this stuff because it flat out works, and we will catch you next time.